Good day, everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie Channel. Hello everyone, we have our new topic in Science 7, which is all about abiotic components of an ecosystem. This will be the second quarter topic and week 6. This topic is a milk paste. Ecology is the branch of biology which studies how organisms interact with each other in the environment. It consists of two components, namely living or the biotic and the non-living or the abiotic thing. In an ecosystem, Food alone is not enough to support life. Living things need the non-living components like sunlight, water, soil, air, and temperature. For example, carabaos cannot survive without water and air. Abiotic components are non-living things which have important roles in the survival of the living organisms in an ecosystem. The following are the abiotic factors. The following are the importance of abiotic components to the ecosystem. According to the National Geographic Resource Library 2020, many abiotic factors 
the non-living physical and chemical aspects of an environment such as sunlight levels, soil chemistry and climate shape healthy ecosystems. Animals and plants are dependable on abiotic factors in the ecosystem. Abiotic factors should be right in order for life to thrive. There are also some plants and animals which require a particular set of abiotic factors to survive. Can you imagine a carabao living in a polar region? The polar region lacks the abiotic factors that are needed by the carabao to survive like the temperature in the tropical area. Just like animals and plants, humans also require certain abiotic factors to survive. We need oxygen which is present in the air for our body. Also, Earth's atmosphere acts as shield against the ultraviolet rays from the sun. Ecosystem change over time, therefore the abiotic factors of the ecosystem also change. For example, the acidity of the sea has increased and some fishes are not able to adapt, hence these fishes suffer. We also learn to change the abiotic factors in our environment, like cloud seeding to modify the weather condition. Another example is the rising temperature in our planet due to climate change. Polar bears in the cold region find it difficult to survive since the icebergs are melting. Therefore, the abiotic components should not be altered for the living organisms to live and survive in their environments. Human beings should take good care of the biotic and the abiotic components in the ecosystem.